All right. Let's pray and then we'll start. Lord, we just thank you that you love us. We thank you for your wonderful word. Lord, I just pray that you'll teach us this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Now, when you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior, why do you do that? Because you have a what? Yeah, you have sin, don't you? You have a problem. And, and there's a punishment for sin. And what did Jesus do? He died on the cross and he took the punishment for our sin. And when a person then puts their faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ as the only one that can forgive our sin, then what do we usually put up? A white heart because we're forgiven of our sin, aren't we? All right, now, when you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, do you know what your heart is like at that point? I, I'm just going to show you. You know, if it's, you're hot and tired and you, you, you know, come out from practice and your mom is there picking you up, what do you do? If you do what you normally do, I'm hot, I'm tired, I'm, you know, I'm hungry. And we just complain, don't we? Yes. All right. And uh, you know what else, guys? I want to tell you something. You are a cheater at heart. And unless you determine in your life that you're going to be honest, you're going to cheat. And uh, there may be some times that you're honest, but not always. If, you, if you're given a little bit of extra money by somebody at the store, what do you do? If, if you're given an answer that you didn't know uh, and, and it's during a test, what do you do? Do you write it down? You know, kids, I want to tell you something. We are cheaters at heart, and the minute you ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into your heart, this is exactly what you're like. And uh, fighting. You know, we want our own way. We want to do things, you know. And, and when I mentioned fighting, uh, one little, well, yeah, I got in a fight with my brother on the way to school, and then another, I mean, I didn't have to give any illustrations of fighting. They, they were right there ready with them, and it all happened in the car on the way to school. And... Um, how about lying? I'll tell you something. There's something about lying that if you, we, we used to have the story of Absalom, which were, it, it was in the story of David, and I loved it, which we're not going to have it this, they, they cut it out, but the point was, if you do not determine that I am going to tell the absolute truth, you will not. And even after you determine that I'm going to tell the absolute truth, you still lie. I mean, you know, your husband comes home. Uh, you know, well, what? Oh, well, you know, I worked the whole time. Well, you know, maybe I worked a, an hour and a half, but did I really work the whole time? I mean, we are just prone to say things that make ourselves look better, and and so that that just we're liars. I think the lying goes right over here. You can see where how they fit, and then selfish. You know, we throw temper tantrums. And I want to tell you, you can get older and still throw a temper tantrum. Just because you're young does not mean they're the only ones that throw a temper tantrum when they don't get their way. I mean, seriously. And then, disobey. Do you know that, yeah, if, you know, we're young and in love, we, oh, anything you want to do. But, you know, that wears off. And then, we really don't want to subject ourselves. We want to do what we want to do because we think our way is best. So when you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, he totally forgives the punishment of your sin, but this is still what you are like. I think I left him in the car thinking I wouldn't use him. But it's, it's you know, the Bible says that God created Adam and Eve without sin, right? Okay. But then none of us had a choice whether we were going to be born a sinner, did we? We were all born a sinner. And so now, Adam and Eve were created without sin. But when we put our faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, then we now can't, God's goal for us is to become a new person. He gives us his Holy Spirit. He gives us a new nature. But now our job is to put off the old man. So all of these things now, it would be just wonderful if all of a sudden they were just gone. But we have to put them 
off. And so instead of complaining, we have to make a decision to do what instead? What would you think that we would have to make a decision to do? Be thankful. That's right. Well, mom, thank you that we're going to go home in a car. Thank you that you're here picking me up. You know, thank you that we're going to go get something to eat. But we have to make that decision. We have to say, I'm not going to complain. I'm going to be thankful. And that's a decision we have to make. So instead of cheating, what decision do we need to make? We have to make the decision that we are going to be honest. And the Bible says you have to stop it. You have to put it off. And what about, oh, fighting. Now, you know, that's going to be hard. Instead of fighting, I should have said being mean. So what word do you think I want to put up here? Oh, kind. kind. That's right. And, and be kind to someone. You know, don't always demand our own way. And instead of being selfish, what is it? Well, well, what are your parents always saying? I want you to share, right? Oh, no, you can play with that. That's mine. Oh, go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I don't care. Oh, oh, you want to play with it while I'm playing with it? Well, you go ahead. I'll play with something else. I mean, seriously, that's a big job. And then what about lying? To tell the truth. And you must make that decision. But once you accept the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart, then he gives you the Holy Spirit that gives you the power now to say and do the right things. And instead of disobeying what? We need to obey. That's exactly right. Now, how do we put off all these things that we shouldn't do and put on the new things? How do we even know what things that God wants us to do? Well, you know what? We've been learning about that. And you know what? We have been learning. Our first verse we learned was, how can a young man keep his way pure? And how do you do that? Taking heed according to your word. Now, I want to just tell you something about young men right here. I, you know, I don't know why I chose young men, but when it says young men, it means young women and girls and young people. But it is that... They, today, they just want to do crazy, silly things. We're learning about somebody who has a heart after God. Did he? Does the Bible ever tell us he did silly, crazy things? It says that he acted wisely in everything that he did. And so, you know what? Young people especially, I mean, there's just silly things they do. And so we need to know God's word. And then it says we had another one. With my whole heart, I will seek you. I will seek you. I will find out what you want me to do. And you know what? I will not wander from your commandments. I will do exactly what I'm supposed to. And now we have a verse. And this verse is going to help us to know how we can become that new person. Now, this one says, I have stored up your word in my heart. So here we have... Two people, and what do you think they're doing? They're reading the Bible. So what are they doing? They're storing up what? God's Word. Now, uh, when you store something up, do you store it up because you need it right then? Why are you storing it up? You're going to need it in the future. I know that I talked to one person about memorizing and, and they just felt like that, you know, you have kids memorize all these verses that really aren't relevant to them at the time. Uh, what does this say? We store it up because we're going to need it someday. And so how do you store up God's word? How do you do it? I ask the kids. You memorize it. That is how you store it up because you're going to need it someday. And that's why we have you memorize these verses. You're going to need them. Do you know there was a, um, I think it was, I thought it was the Vietnam War, but uh, they had these prisoners of war, and they would get together. And, you know, you'd think they'd talk about their home and their families and what they're going to do when they got back. Do you know the only thing that they talked about? The only thing they talked about was, oh, yeah, God's word. Oh, yes, I remember this verse. And even when they had this little code, it would be verses that they had learned. But there was one man that didn't do that. And they said, well, why? Why? 
And he says, well, I never learned any when I was growing up. He had not stored anything up. He had no reserve. We don't know when we're going to need it. So we need to, it says, this person, very wise, I have stored up your word, and where do we store it? And our heart, yeah, we don't put it on our iPhones and think, oh, yeah, if I need it, you know, I'll know where to find it. No, we need to store it up in our heart. And uh, what's the whole reason that we store up his word? That we might not sin. We're a new person. We have a new father. We belong to a new kingdom. And we're to, 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 to honor our father and, and, and be part of that family. And so we have to know what we need to quit being like and start being like. Wouldn't it be wonderful if once we accept the Lord Jesus Christ that this automatically would be the way we are? But now, it, you know, when, when you're a little baby and you're born, you have to learn everything, don't you? Well, does God equate spiritual birth with physical birth? That you're like a little baby? And you need to grow. So as a little baby then, spiritually, we need to grow. And how do we grow? We grow. It says grow in grace and knowledge. So we have to have knowledge. But then when we have the knowledge, we grow in grace. So then we've got to start doing it to just learn the Bible stories. Oh, I already know that Bible story. Oh, I already heard that before. Well, are you doing then what you need to be doing? You may have memorized the verse, but are you doing it? And so this is what God wants. He says, you know, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin. I might become this new person. And so this is just wonderful. Do you know all three of these verses are all from the same chapter of Psalms? What's, what chapter of Psalms is that? Uh-huh. Does anybody know how many verses are in the chapter of, uh, of, of 119, Psalm 119? 176 okay and you know i think every single verse except one mentions something and it mentions it using different words but it all mentions something now can you tell let's see if i could show you this what what this mentions yeah they they all they, somebody said you're your heart that's true but it's God's word. It'll use statutes, precepts, commandments, you know, laws. But it all mentions how important God's word is to our life. And my gracious, to be that important, what do we need to do with something that important? We need to store it up. That's right. And the reason we need to store it up so that we won't. Yeah, and then, of course, this one says, uh, we need to keep our life pure. And if we keep our life pure, we're not going to do what? Sin. That's right. And it's God's word. And of course, why do we need to seek God? We don't know him. We are not born knowing him. We have to learn about him. And I want to say, you can't see God, can you? But if you seek after him, you know what he says? You will find me. But you're not going to find him if you don't look and if you don't try really hard. And so uh, these are just such wonderful, wonderful verses. Do you know that there was uh, a place on the Internet that we found, and it was CEF, and it's saying one of these verses right after the other. Does, our, does ours do that too? Um, always, always does that. Okay, all right. In the paragraph, stop it to learn each one. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, let's see. Let's see the old one. And it does that. Does the old one do that, or is the old one all separately? I mean, the long one. The long one. There's a new one. There's a short one. Okay, good. All right. Then we've been doing. You know what? There you go. All right. So we're gonna. So who, uh, you, would you come up and sing them? Yes. And we're gonna sing them all all together then. So in my class, we sang all of them together. We didn't just sing one. All right. Now maybe though. We need to learn the motions to I have stored. So you just teach them the motions to that. Well, we're going to review the motions, then sing them all. So I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Oh, great. 
Psalms 119, and then I'll always say 9, 10, and 11. Mm -hmm. So I have sort of your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 9, 10, and 11. Mm -hmm. Okay, have a look at this. How can I go? Sing them all again. Yeah. Again, again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Sing the long version one more time. Play. Play. <laughs> I don't know why this is playing now. Oh, I know. Okay. How can a young man keep his way pure? How can a young man? Keep his way pure, how can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word? Psalm 119, 19, and 11. With my whole heart, I seek you with my whole heart. I seek you with my whole heart. I seek you and be no wonder from your commandments. Psalm 119, 19, and 11. I have sort of pure word in my heart. I have sort of pure word in my heart. I have sort of pure word in my heart. I might not sin against you. Psalm 119, 19, and 11. Okay, now we can sing the rest of the verses. Review. Oh, that's review. Yeah. The review, the whole review. Okay. I I have them if we need them, but if you don't need them, we, let's we don't need them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if you do them, well, there's new people, so I guess we'll have use them. them in the right order. But have it. That's up to you. Oh, she's awake. Oh, okay. I, I have them. Oh, okay. you have them too. Okay. Oh, we all have them. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna play the loop to eleven in between. Like, yeah. On it, that's the video version. The video. So how do you find the video version on my phone? It's the video. Yeah. Which one is? Um, first, JJ, first. I don't think I have it. Music, yeah. Oh, okay. So then you, we're gonna play it in a different. Yeah, mine's is. Everybody tells me that, but I don't know how to get to that. He loaded a video version, which is huh. that. Okay. okay. So the way I put mine is. Uh, this way, and then this one is oh, okay. very good. And then, then uh, and then Bluetooth. Yeah, I was singing okay. this first, so I can okay. keep when we review it. I keep uh, okay. this so one so first instead of separate. Oh. So, so I don't know what song you'll you play. Yeah. So, <laughs> so hmm. no music. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we can sing it without music. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. Who's that? Come up. <laughs> 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 In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Genesis 1 1, yeah. <clears throat> God so loved the world that 
that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. John 3, 16 and 17. When they do that at the end, I just do that. Three John 3, 16 and 17. I override that. Believes in the Son has eternal life. Whoever does not obey the Son shall not see light. But the wrath of God remains on him. John 3, 36. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, a Savior, a Savior, as is Christ the Lord, a Savior, a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Luke 2, 11, Luke 2, 11, and then today, the shorter version, whatever one. Okay, okay. How can a young man keep his way pure? How can a young man keep his way pure? How can a young man keep his way pure by guiding it according to your word? Psalm 119, 19, and 11. With my whole heart, I seek you with my whole heart. One nineteen nineteen and eleven. I have a love your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm one nineteen nineteen and eleven. <laughs> oh, you did fab. Really great.